Hey everyone, Brent here with thedroiddemos.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Uh, this is for the Wi-Fi version. Uh, the 3G and 4G versions are similar, um, but this is specifically for the Wi-Fi version. Uh, we're going to be doing this on uh, Windows. So if you don't have a Windows computer, borrow one from someone, or if you have a Mac, uh, just install Windows with Boot Camp. Um, but this is going to work best with Windows. So you're going to want to download the root.zip file that I have linked. Uh, once you've downloaded it, we can go ahead and extract it by right-clicking and extract all. We can just leave it as desktop uh, root or wherever you have it downloaded. And then we'll go ahead and extract. Once that's complete, you'll see you have a folder called root. Uh, we're just going to open that up. And inside you'll have a few files. The first one we're going to want to deal with is the driver file. So we can go ahead and double click on the USB driver for 7510. That's the Wi-Fi version. And then click yes to allow that. Um, I already have it installed. Uh, I'll go ahead and just click yes so I can just show you guys. Uh, you just have to click next, next, install, and that's it. Uh, it just takes a few seconds to finish. Now this is going to allow us to have full functionality when we connect it to the computer so that we can go ahead with the root. Uh, there it's finished. We can just go ahead and click exit. The uh, next thing we're going to do is turn on USB de debugging on our tablet. We can do that by going to apps and settings, applications, development, and check off USB debugging uh, right there. It's going to ask you to confirm. Just click OK. And now you see it's checked there. And now we're going to turn off the tablet by holding the power button and selecting power off. OK. And then once it's off, we're going to put it into downloading mode. This will allow us to connect it to, compu to the computer and initiate the root. To do that, you're going to want to hold the volume down button, which is the leftmost button. If you can see here, uh, there's the power button, and the volume down button is the one closest to it. So we're going to hold down that button right here. And then after you hold that, click, click and hold the power button as well and hold both of those buttons until you see two icons pop up on the screen. Now you see there, let go. I was too slow. But we're going to try that again. Hold volume down, power button, and let go. So you see right here we have two icons. This is for recovery. This is for downloading mode. We're going to hit the rightmost button at the top. Uh, this is the volume up button. Select that to confirm that we want this one. Now we're going to connect the USB cable to the computer. And now in the same folder, same root folder, you're going to see a file called Odin3 uh, version 1.85 with the little icon here. We're going to run this application by double clicking on it and yes to allow. And then we're going to go ahead and select PDA. And we're going to choose the recovery clockwork mod that's in the root folder that you downloaded. Just double click on that. And then we can go ahead and click start. And this will go through the root. Doesn't take very long. And now it's complete. Now you see the tablet rebooting. Once it's turned on, we're going to want to copy another zip file. We're going to copy a zip file over so you can close the Odin 3 application on your computer. I just click the X on, on your tablet. Drive that away. Let's go ahead and turn off USB debugging. And Applications development. Uh, I still have it connected, so and disconnect your USB key, B cable, 
uncheck it, and now we can plug it back in. There we go. Now we're gonna now it's connected to the computer. Once it pops up, we're gonna transfer the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 root file right here over to the uh, Galaxy Tab. So you can just do that by dragging over on top of it, and it'll copy over. If we click here, oh, sorry, let's open it up in a different folder. there and double click on tablet and we can go ahead and see that uh, the Samsung Galaxy 10.1 root was transferred to the tablet. So that's all we need to do there. Uh, now we're going to reboot, reboot the tablet into recovery. To do that let's power off the phone, off the not phone but tablet, ta power it off and power. Okay. And we're going to do uh, kind of the same thing as before. We're going to hold the button closest to the power button and then hold the power button as well until the icons pop up and then let go. And now this time we're going to get, click the leftmost button so that we can move over to uh, this icon right here. And now we're going to click the rightmost button to select it. And this is going to put us into recovery. And we're going to, uh, we see right here, we have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed now uh, because of Odin 3. And we're going to go to Install Zip from SD Card and the power button to select it. And then choose Zip from SD Card and the power button to select it. And now we can go ahead and go to the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 root.zip file that we downloaded and hit the power button to select that and go down to yes, uh, install, and hit the power button to select that one. And now this is going to finish the root process. And there we have it, we are done. We can go back and reboot. Sorry, at the top, reboot system now, select power button. And you will now reboot into your fully rooted uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um, now this will give you uh, the ability to flash uh, another ROM, among other things such as tethering uh, if you have the Wi-Fi version. Again, this is Brent from thedroiddemos.com showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Thanks for watching, guys.